Hi guys, that's activity 1.7. The apparatus required for this, uh, this is something called what we call this electrolytic cell. What it consists of, basically it's a glass in which I have taken water. That water is made acidified. That means some few drops of acid I have added into it. Okay, because I want to pass current through it and pure water does not conduct electricity. So that's water acidified. Okay. Inside that, I have inserted two electrodes. They are made up of graphite. That's two electrodes. And I need to connect them externally. So I made that arrangement. I'll be keeping it here. One more apparatus that what I needed is that's a battery, a 9 volt battery through which I'll be supplying, uh, supplying DC voltage. Okay. So. And I'm about to start the current now. And you need to observe when I supply current through it, there will be some changes that will that will may take place on the electrode. Okay, so what is there? You should observe it carefully. When I complete the circuit, yeah. What you will be able to see is that you can see some kind of bubbles are getting out from both the electrodes from right as well as left that's the first observation second observation what to make is that if you look at it carefully on one electrode you will get little less bubbles that is on the left side and on other electrode you, you can see there are a lot many bubbles that is on right hand side okay so that's the second observation now if you understood that let's go to the next part of it what I'll do, I have taken two test tubes, okay, I need to collect that gas basically, so for that, that's a test tube, totally filled with water, I'll invert, keep inverted on that electrode, okay, so, I'll take it inside, yeah, and I'll keep it inverted on first electrode, similarly, the other test tube, again filled with water, I'll keep it inverted on the other electrode. Okay. So yeah, we have did it. Now what we are basically doing here is that we are collecting those bubbles, the kind of gas which is getting out. And that, that gas went on collecting inside this test tube and the collected gas will basically pull out the water present in the test tube. Okay. So simply here, we'll be able to see, here we'll be able to see that gas collected that is removed from the electrodes, okay. We need to observe how much amount of gas is collected in this test tube and in this test tube. Okay. It will take some time, we'll have to keep on observing. Now it's very clear to you. Okay. Those are the two observations. That is all about this activity 1.7. Now let's go to understand science behind it. Okay. Okay. So in this activity 1.7, what we observed just now is that. Uh, we had observed some kind of bubbles were getting out of both the electrode. Okay, so that's the first observation. Some gases evolved on both electrodes. So we were getting those uh, bubbles, right? Second very important observation that we made was that 
the gas on one electrode was more than that of other electrode right on one electrode we were reading very few bubbles with respect to that on other electrode we were reading lot of bubbles okay so that was the second observation we'll try to understand what what happened what how and uh, in what way we can explain that reaction so let's go to conclusion part okay so in conclusion this we start with the what reactant we had taken in the initial we had taken water and we had passed electricity through it obviously uh, pure water cannot uh, conduct electricity through it so we made it acidic by adding few drops of acid because of that electricity is passed through it but in reality when we pass electricity actually this water is being decomposed to give hydrogen and oxygen gas okay it decomposes to give hydrogen separately and oxygen separately and what do we get as a product is hydrogen and oxygen gases are produced from liquid water don't get me wrong these are not the gases which were dissolved in water actually every single molecule of water is being decomposed with the help of electricity to give hydrogen and oxygen gas okay so on both the electrode what gases were getting the bubbles of gases were getting those are the gases of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas on each of the respective electrodes okay so that explains me about first observation now second observation why do we get uh, there is less gas on one electrode and more gas on other electrode to understand that we have to understand we have to balance this reaction because till now this is the half reaction it's not uh, complete okay let's complete it when we balance that we have two hydrogen one oxygen two oxygen so let's multiply by two now two oxygen and two hydrogen i'll have to make it two to the four two to the four hydrogen okay simply reaction is balanced now when you balance this reaction we'll get to see that every two molecules of water decompose to give two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen correct every two molecules of water give two molecules of hydrogen one molecule of oxygen meaning the amount of oxygen which is collected exactly twice to that of amount of hydrogen will be collected whenever we decompose two molecules of water jitna oxygen produce ho raha hai decomposition se usse double usse dogna hydrogen produce hoga in simple sense okay so when you balance that reaction we got to know now we can clear about second observation is that the less gas which is being evolved must be oxygen and the lot of gas which is being evolved is hydrogen actually there that needs to be a large setup the in the previous experiment there we have to extend it to some extent i am showing it diagrammatically the these were two electrodes the pencils that we had see from where we are getting collected we are collecting the gases okay we'll invert two test tubes on these electrodes definitely by fill uh, totally filled with water and we'll collect those gases inside the test tube okay jitna gas bharta jayega utna pani bahar aata jayega and that collected that gas will be collected inside test tube that's a simple logic okay so in this test tube in one test tube i'll be see i'll be able to see that there's a less gas this much gas is collected in uh, opposite to that in other test tube i'll get this much gas will be collected okay according to the reaction we can say this gas which is less in quantity must be oxygen gas and exactly twice the amount of that of hydrogen will be produced so this large amount of gas which is produced must be hydrogen gas okay so this more gas collected hydrogen and this gas collected is oxygen okay so those are the things that we can see practically with that experiment okay so this is an activity to demonstrate you uh, one of the decomposition reaction where we decompose that reaction when we decompose water with the electricity this kind of reaction is called electrolytic decomposition reaction lysis means to break lytic means to it's a process of breaking down we are breaking down that water molecule passing electricity through it so this reaction is called electrolytic decomposition now in this electrolytic decomposition there are few more 
uh, things that you must know, you must understand in detail. They are what? See, the gas collected is oxygen, gas collected is hydrogen. These respective electrodes, when they are, we are attached to the battery, the battery has two terminals. This upper end is shown with positive, this is called as anode, another end is called as, uh, is termed as negative, this is called as cathode, correct? Now, the oxygen is attached to anode, uh, sorry, the electrode where oxygen is being collected is attached to anode and the electrode where hydrogen gas is being evolved, this is attached to cathode. So, clearly from diagram, we may say that hydrogen is getting evolved at cathode that is at negative terminal and oxygen gas is being evolved at anode that is at positive electrode. How can we understood that? What is the logic behind that? See logically if you want to understand that water H2 when it decomposes it gives you in reality it is difficult to make you convinced at this level when you go to colleges you will get to know. For now we can see it as it is giving you H plus and other particle is OH minus. Instead of OH minus you can consider it as O minus. Oxygen has negative valency, hydrogen is positive valence valency. Okay. So, we have this kind of setup. In cell we have one positive terminal which is called anode and we have one negative terminal which is called cathode. Correct. So, when this water decomposes, that positive H will go towards negative end, it will go towards cathode because opposite charges attract like charges repel. So, H plus will go towards negative end that is at anode and O minus will go towards positive end that is at anode. Okay. H plus will go towards cathode, O minus will go towards anode. So, that hydrogen gas will always, will always evolve at cathode, oxygen gas will be always evolved at anode. Okay, those are the things related to electrolytic decomposition of water that is activity 1.7.